How's it going, folks? Welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. So, preview time for tomorrow. A tough trip up the Perth. 12 o'clock kickoff on Sky Sports against an inform St. Johnson team. One defeat in eight games. They're into the Bedford Cup final as well. They beat Hibs in the semi finals. And the only defeat that they had was against Rangers away in Ibrox. So, this is a really good organised team. We know what St. Johnson can do. They went to Celtic Park in the last meeting. And they got a one-all draw against us. And then um, we scraped the result against them in the, in the closing minutes of the game up in McDermott Park at the earlier parts of the season where we won 2-0. Lee Griffiths came off the bench and Patrick Clamalla scored for as well. Now, Clamalla's goal was unbelievable. Obviously, Griff got the header. But um, it's interesting times. It really is interesting times because we're going for four in a row in wins. I shouldn't even be saying it in a row because we all know 10 in a row is gone. Some Celtic fans will still... Dispute on my channel and say, ah, oh, look, I can just keep going. It's not over until it's over. It's over. You know, that way. But um, this is all about the last part of this season. is about getting this diamond right, getting the players on form, the likes of Oyer, Alton Edwards, getting having you get creating a partnership with them up front. Um, see more of Sorrow, if it's possible to get more of Sorrow in there. More of um, James Forbes and potential chance of coming back. Maybe for this game, we'll have to see and then clean, keeping clean sheets at the back as well with the likes of Bain and hopefully Welch will be back soon as well. So what I'm expecting tomorrow, I'm expecting a really, really slow game, you know. Hopefully the pitch is all right up in Perth. Hopefully um, the snowy conditions didn't cause too much to the pitch. You know, we've had some great memories up in McNamara Park, obviously hammering them a few years back when St. Johnson scored, uh, when James Forrest scored four. It was just unbelievable that day. Um, obviously, the the result when we 26 passes and then mm -hmm. Musa Dembele capitalised and got that lovely goal where the goal was nominated in the Pukas Awards under the Brendan Rodgers regime. They were good times, you know. We have really had really tough times there. So um, what I'm expecting tomorrow, very similar to what we've um, failed out in the last couple of games. The only difference is, I'd say, well, it should be out because obviously the injury you got the other night. So he's going to be recuperating and be back sooner or better than ever, you know. So um, Bain and goal, look at Scott Bain, a couple of clean sheets. Unlucky against Motherwell with that shot last Saturday. Clean sheet at St. Mirren, St. Mirren tough place to go. Then clean sheet at Rugby Park. So more likely he's going to be in the nets until the end of the season. I don't know what's going to happen with Barakas because Barakas has been really hit and miss. A lot of Celtic fans have criticised Barakas for a keeper with his value. So... We maybe need to be left out of the nets, recuperating them pre-season. I know pre-season seemed like a long time away. Where everything's gone with this season. And Connor Hazard as number two. We'll have to see there. But Bain and goal. Bain's done all right so far. Right back with John Joe Kenny. I have to say I was very impressed with John Joe Kenny. A couple of last-minute tackles to the night. Um, St. Mary had, had a chance to score before half-time. And John Joe Kenny with a nice clearance that got stuck into stop them from scoring the only thing what i like about john joe kenny reminds you of adam matthews great pushing up can get stuck in i want to see the final toward the final cross which would be been missing especially with jeremy fing pong but he didn't have el hammett's gonna be gone so if john joe Pe kenny plays well for celtic we could potentially get him on a permanent in the summer now there is talks that we're looking at 10 million everything wants from i don't know if celtic are on a coffee with 10 million with this re rebuilding it depends what goes out as well depends what we're looking at a turn the right backs as well permanent because it's a massive um toward toward part of the season left you know to get this right to see where he stands with the club i, I, I could see him staying itself like really could it just depends if the club are going to cough up the money so left back would have to be greg taylor greg taylor's done quite well domestically he's done well you know laxall came in and you know, Lacks all look quite good the first um, seven games and then a couple of mistakes, a couple of set piece mistakes. But I can't see Diego Laxar staying on as Celtic Premier. I don't don't think we're gonna cough up eight point five million for him, you know. I can't see it happening. The back two would be Shane Duffy and it's gonna be Christopher Royer. Look I mean I say Shane Duffy, a lot of people are like, Oh Jesus, you know, he came on the other night and he did cause the goal. A lot of people consider him as a bomb scare. A lot of people turn around and say, look, I pay I pay for him. I'll, I'll drive him down to Brighton myself to get rid of him. I know it's been a difficult season for Shane, Shane Duffy, you know. 
difficult season that we're not seeing the fans not settling in everything going wrong from you know you got to give this guy a bit of credit you know he's a he's a professional athlete he needs to have a bit of confidence we need to start getting on his back and it's all been this week about fans trolling players on social media and shane duffy would be a prime example from our own fans a portion of our own fans have been absolutely terrible i understand the frustrations run high and we want the best and we want to win games and he's caused silly mistakes but give the guy a bit of bit of slack seriously like you know it's horrible to see the abuse like we're all given picking up for james mclean but one of our own that's playing in goal or playing sent that back for us and we're giving we're giving them amount of abuse it's not it's not on so duffy will probably start um he could just go with b tom he could go with b tom beside our IRS class the only thing i have to say about oil is is the heading in the final towards attacking wise he needs to get more goals he needs to get stuck in there look at Welsh last week against Motherwell, he done quite well scoring that goal. And hopefully Welsh is back sooner than later, you know, especially because we all feared that the injury could be enough for the rest of the season, but it's not that bad as we predicted. Midfield be the same. I wouldn't change the midfield. I keep Scott Brown in there. I know we have an option of Ishmael Sorrow to come in. Sorrow is looking like the man that we it's going to be planned there. I think Bruni's position past the end of the season because Bruni more like will be resign or retire whatever you want to call it retire because his contract's going to be up so we'll just have to see what bruni goes on bruni will play um came on against st johnson away made an impact the last time we were up there you know so bruni will obviously um start callum mcgregor will start i'm expecting callum to run him up against him you know he's playing playing quite well in recent games you know he's at the left in the game so callum in there with david turnbull what can you say about turnbull He's a joy to watch, you know, really is. He's got a nice goal the other night. He just played quite well, you know, he's very versatile, and that's a player that we should be building a team around. They were Tumble and Sorrow, definitely, 100%. Tom Rodgic will have to play, you know. Rodgic took his goal well the other night, very similar. Um, trademark Tom Rodgic finished, taking on his left, put in the far corner, very good. And then up front, Alvin Yeti and Alton Edwards. Edward needs to keep banging goals in, he's on a bit of form, you know. If we keep getting these goals in, maybe at the end of the season, and we um, put his valuation up to the standards that it was last season because because uh, the value has gone down in recent times. You know, fair enough, he scored in Europe and stuff, but he hasn't been the Alton Edward. I don't know if the case that he's missing the fans. He's not, he, you know, playing with Lee and then playing with Albion, and then not getting as much ball, and then the team's not playing quite well. We'll have to see. So. As I said, St. Johnson, one defeat in eight. The new management has them playing quite well. This lad column has them playing quite well. They could score from a set piece against us. So that's where Celtic need to get learned from these lessons because every time that ball gets dipped into the final towards, look at that, last week against Saint, against Motherwell, Blacks all saved us on the line. We need to have a, a plan. Like, I don't know if it's going to be zone marking or just man for man get stuck in there because we're looking like an absolute a bomb threat at the back. And I know a lot of people are saying Duffy, but the whole team just can't defend the lines for shit. And that's what it is. So my final score and my predictions for tomorrow, I'm going to go with 3-1 Celtic. I still think there is error there at the back, you know. I know we've um, had clean sheets in recent games away away from home, but I still think there's a there's a, an error there. Um, hopefully, fingers touch wood, there, there isn't an error, but I still think there is in my heart. I'm going to fancy odds on Edward double. I'm going to fancy Tom Rogers going for a goal. I really will. So if he's going to subscribe to the channel, I really would appreciate if he's good. I will be back later on to do a preview on live Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We're back on Facebook. The, the ban has been lifted. Final justice, as you would say. But um, subscribe to the channel. We're going for 5K. I'm looking forward to all hearing from you soon. Comment below. And I really appreciate if you can give a thumbs up, even a thumbs down. You know, any feedback will be really crucial so take care hell hell up the cells take care